Hey everybody. If you've ever worked with data, you've probably heard of SQL. It's a powerful language, but sometimes it gets a bit tricky to read and write. Well, today we're diving into BigQuery's new pipe syntax. And trust me, it's going to make your life writing and understanding SQL a whole lot easier. Now, SQL has been a standard for decades, but it's got a very rigid structure, which makes it difficult to write and debug complex queries. For example, if I misorder any of these clauses, I'm probably going to get an error. BigQuery's new pipe syntax extends Google SQL and removes a lot of these limitations. It also mirrors how we might naturally think about data access. For example, you might begin with a from clause to define your table, apply an aggregation, and then select the field you're interested in. Most Google SQL operators have a pipe equivalent, and they're usually the same operators you're already used to. Even better, you can chain them together in any order you'd like and eliminate the need for messy CTEs or subqueries. Plus, pipe syntax interoperates with Google SQL, so you can fit it easily into your existing code without the need to rewrite everything. Okay, enough talk. Let's jump over to BigQuery and see this in action. Let's imagine that I'm looking for a new television show to watch, and I happen to have television rating data in the IMDb public data set. So let's query it using pipe syntax. You'll notice intuitively that the query begins with a from clause to specify the table I'm interested in. I can add additional pipe operators beneath to filter to TV series that are dramas that started after 2010, and then select only the field I'm interested in. I could continue to add pipe operators in any order any number of times if I'd like. But we get some dramas down below, and now I want to find the highest rated ones, which means I need to join to the ratings table. So let's do that. We'll join to the ratings table, and within the ratings table, I'll filter to records that have a high average rating and a high number of votes. I'll also order by average rating and then select the field I'm interested in. When I run the query, I get some great shows that I could check out. If we compare this pipe syntax query to one using standard syntax, we can quickly see that the joins are more verbose with standard. We need to also co-locate all of the where clauses to avoid subqueries, right? You can imagine how much more complicated this could get if I join three, four, or five tables. Lastly, I can use standard and pipe syntax in the same query. In this example, we start with some standard syntax, and we also have pipe syntax below. We could run this and get the same result as we did just a second ago. And this interoperability means that if I want to embed some pipe syntax into my existing BigQuery workflows, I don't need to rewrite everything. I can just plug it in wherever it fits. Apart from exploratory analysis, pipe syntax is great for log analytics. So let's check that out. I've opened Cloud Log Analytics in the console where I can query my log data in view or chart the results. Behind the scenes, this is powered by BigQuery. And I'll paste in a standard SQL query that looks through all of my App Engine logs for client IPs with a lot of 503 errors. But you'll see how verbose the standard syntax is. We have a common table expression. We repeat the same fields and functions several times. Well, I can simplify this using pipe syntax, where we define the table we're pulling from, filter it down with a where clause, create an aggregate, and then filter it a little bit more. And when I run this, we'll get our results. But you can see how much simpler pipe syntax is compared to the alternative. Now, since I've set up a linked data set in BigQuery, I can query it over there too. So let's hop over to BigQuery. And now that we're in BigQuery, I'll paste the exact same query. All I need to do is update the from clause because now we're pulling from a linked data set. Again, anywhere that we can run standard syntax, we can also use pipe syntax like linked data sets, views, table value functions, and more. All other syntax remains exactly the same. And when we run it, we get the same results. So if you're somebody who does a lot of log analytics, definitely check out pipe syntax. So there you have it. If you're looking for a simpler way to write queries, or maybe you're coming from a log analytics background, check out pipe syntax in BigQuery. If you'd like to give it a shot, sign up using the enrollment link in the description. And thanks for watching.